All right, guys, in this video, let's talk about using berberine for high cholesterol. Now, in this video, I'll look at the studies. I'll look at how it compares to prescription drugs like statins, talk about maybe one of the downsides, side effects, and finally, some dosing. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. First of all, there's been quite a few studies done on looking at berberine for high cholesterol and even non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. And basically what they found is that, yes, it's pretty good. Decreased total cholesterol across a number of different studies, anywhere from 13 to 32 milligrams per deciliter. We saw a decrease in triglycerides of around 30 to 34. Also saw a decrease in LDL, 10 to 26 milligrams per deciliter. Also saw a decrease in apolipoprotein B. Done videos on this. That's something we do want to see go down. However, in one of the studies, they could see a slight decrease in HDL, which is quote unquote, our good cholesterol. To me, not a huge deal. Other studies showed no change in HDL. So as far as it being able to increase good cholesterol, we're not seeing that pretty much either flat or a slight decrease or something to keep in mind. Interestingly, multiple studies show that Berberine can kind of be on par as far as its ability to lower cholesterol compared to statins. So that is good news. Now, there are some concerns. The biggest one is how effective is berberine use beyond three months? Not a lot of studies showing that. So that's a question mark for people. Uh, what the value is taking at longer than three months. I don't put a lot of a value in some of those studies, but that's some of the concerns they brought up is, is, is it effective beyond three months? As far as side effects go, berberine is actually pretty well tolerated. I would say it's better tolerated than statin medications. What we can see is primarily stomach related side effects. So we can see gas and constipation, distension. In some cases, people can get nauseous, even some vomiting, but I would say that's very rare. Okay, now as far as dosing, I, I would say start in a range. The range that you're going to tend to see is anywhere from 0.4 to 1.5 grams per day. So that equates to 400 to 1500 milligrams per day. Most studies, when they're looking at using it for cholesterol, are going to stay at that one gram per day range or a thousand milligram per day range. So that's what I would do again, the evidence beyond three months is, is a little limited. People have those concerns, but that's not the biggest thing for me. So all in all, yeah, it's very promising. Berberine is definitely an option for people. Now this says nothing about is lowering cholesterol. Should that really be our goal? That's not what I wanted to cover in this video. I have kind of my own take on that issue. However, if lowering cholesterol is your goal. Berberine should be a, a solid option to look at. So let me know in the comments, guys, other video topics that would be helpful. This is a prime example. Also, make sure to go grab your free checklist. I cover other natural therapies I personally use and recommend and that other people have gotten really good results with. So go grab that. It's free. I'll send it right over to you. Hope the video was helpful, guys. See you in the next one.